welcome back guys and today we're with a video game called Game Bear Garage. Game Bear Garage lets you create your own video games. Today I'm going to show you how to make a first person horror jump scare. Let's begin. Okay guys here are the games I made but no time for that. Let's get a new project. So right now let's go to objects characters and select UFO I guess it's the best choice but you can select it anything you want now let's go into this for the for, we have to have it as visible you'll see why so next we're gonna go to objects game screen and hit camera so we're gonna connect it to the UFO and next, which gives us UFO and camera controls. So let's go to stick movement. Left or right. Up, down. This will make the player go up, down once we get... Well, we're in first person since we connected the camera to a person. So in this, it'll let the person move forward or backward in first person. Now let's get another stick movement. Left or right. I mean left stick and hit left and right. Now, we're going to connect that to the left and right port of the UFO. Next, we're going to go to stick movement, uh, the R stick, and hit up, down. Oh, sorry, guys. So, this would be for up, down, of course. And then, let's go to stick movement, uh, and our R stick, and let's put it left and right. Now... Let's connect that to the horizontal. Now, you don't have to do this, but if you're feeling adventurous, you can do this. So, you see, guys, we're in first person. It gets a good view. I mean, it's totally fine. You can keep it simple. And, yeah. So, next thing we do is we make a texture. But before we do that, we must go to that, which would flip it. To make it like we're going on a bird's eye view. So let's get to objects. This is like only if like you. If it. So this is only optional. Like. Yeah. So this is only optional. Um, let's scale this box up a bit. Can I get another one? Copy it. Let's make it that size, get a little wide. So let's scale this box up a bit. Because, yeah. So let's scale it one more. Yeah, I think that's good. Guys, and then what we do is go do objects, special objects, and hit texture. And you can draw whatever you want in here. And in here, I'm going to draw a creepy critter. You can do whatever you want. Oh, guys. I was so... Um, yeah, I, I didn't meant to make it look like a mountain. You'll just see what I'm going to draw. If this doesn't work, I'll draw something else, like a guy with a mask. I mean, that is horror, like, yeah. Um, maybe I should make the eraser this big, guys. And, yeah, okay, so. Let's do this. Let's go in here, and let's draw my creepy critter. If it doesn't work out, then, of course, yes. I'll do the person with the mask. That will work better. And. You can. Again you can draw whatever you want. But for this I'm going to keep it like this. Hit that. Do that. And then do that. Perfect guys. So we got our critter drawn. Next thing we know. We have to have a touch sensor. So this will trigger that, of course. So, 
So let's go to sensors and do a touch sensor. And you'll see what this will do in just a moment. Yeah, so we want to enable, we don't, we don't want visible. And go to check what and, and only have it on UFO. Okay, guys, so next thing we know is we have to connect this to that. So let's get into our... <laughs> I forgot about this. Um, do uh, Just have it on these two for every object. Uh, that's so... Yeah, sus. That's what it is. Okay, let's get... This is so fun. So... Okay, guys, so let's do this. Let's see what we got. Yeah, so that's a problem. We need a sound effect, and we also need a world on and to make it feel more ambient and horror type. So I'm going to have it on plane, but you can have it as anything you want. Uh, let's do it tonight because pitch black... Doesn't work in outer space. Doesn't work either. Pitch black it means you can't see anything. And our space looks like outer space. You know what night looks like probably. And you can also have it on default grass, tiles, metal, or sand. For this, I'm going to have it as grass. Okay, guys. So, let's get go to output. Play sound and play and select play, play SFX. Now, you can pick whatever you want. Make sure it's like a horror thing. So, I'm going to go to SFX and hit Evil Magic. That works really well for me. Now, to connect a touch sensor to the play port. And also, one thing, we need to get a timer. This will make what, sure, and we also get a retry knotted. We try game. Yeah, so what happens here if that retry not in? What happens is when we, like, when this object appears, the game will restart. But we don't have, want to have instant. But for output, how many, how many seconds option? Two, two. Okay, now you can close the settings now. Connect the timer to the, to the output and the retry not in. And do and do the and connect the in, the input of the timer knot into the touch sensor's output knot in, and let's go. We just did a jump scare in Game Builder Garage. It is complicated, but not as complicated as as like other stuff. It's so cool. That was just a eight minute tutorial of how to make a first person horror jump scare in Game Mirror Garage. There will be more Game Mirror Garage videos and tutorials. See you later gamers.